Welcome to Mercy Care's annual general meeting. It is fantastic to see so many of you here. I'm told it's always a very, very well attended event. Um, I'm sure you all know I only became chair of Mercy Care what amounts to about, well, December last year, so probably nine months. Um, and I'd like to open my remarks by saying how privileged I am to chair such an organisation, such a really good, amazing organisation. I get to work every day with incredible people and see firsthand the services they can provide. Now that being said, nine months in, I've still got my L plates on. I'm really only just getting to know the top level and just starting to burrow down into some of the services. So it's going to take me a good while to get to know the system, the services, the individuals, as well as I hope to very soon. I've joined Mercy Care at a very, very tough time for the NHS. Tough for the health of the people and the communities we serve. We're recovering from a pandemic, a global pandemic, which has changed so much out there. It's brought a devastating impact on families, patients, the wider public, and of course you've got the cost of living crisis affecting everyone in so many different ways. Here in the NHS, and I'm talking to some members of staff here as well, we face dramatic shortages of qualified staff right across all services, and there's huge pressure on the levels of expenditure so in times like these, getting basics right, maximising everything we do, has to be the right way to go. It's got to be our focus. How do we get that right? The way to get it right is to listen to each other, for us to listen to you, and for us to do our best by you. The truth is, the voices of every single person who uses the services or are cared by our services, if we listen to those, that gets us closer to whether we're getting our basics, whether we're getting the service to you right. For the most part, I would say Mercy Care manages to do the basic very well, day in, day out. Now, for me, in my early days, one of the earlier, earlier areas of focus was on, it, it has to be improving access to our services. How do we get as much help as we can to so many people who need our help out there now? We will need, we are thinking differently about how we use everyone's time to reach as many people as possible. Sorry, that's pinging in the hearing aids. Um, so, how do I see my job? I suppose my job is to focus on results. The results that make a real difference to the people we serve. If you work closely with me, you'll know that I'm obsessed by outcomes. Just doing it for the heck of it, just doing it for the sake of it. What's the outcome? How does it improve? Um, the situation for patients. So if somebody tells me about a great improvement to a service, the questions I start asking and absolutely asking is, what difference does it make for patients? What difference does it make to staff? How much easier does that enable us to help um, everyone we're, we're responsible for? So I'm surrounded by some brilliant, brilliant minds, much greater than mine, experts in Mercy Care's exact team. And these people do their best every single day to deliver the best for you. These are, these, and the hundreds of people who work in the clinical services out there in the wards, in the community, they're the people who achieve the results. They do it. That's not my job. My job is to help them do it in the best way I can. So, my job's focused on results. 
the outcomes of what we do, what we do for you. You are the people we serve. You are the reason we're here. So I'm here to listen to your views. Don't think what I'm saying is it'll always go the way you want. The answers are really easy. Because if they were, they'd already have happened. So by listening to your views, what we're trying to do is to work out whether we're getting it right. If we're not, then work together to try and see if we can make those improvements. Because if we do improve it, that's a better result for everyone. I suppose finally, I'd like to say that I'm clear that although it's a difficult time, although it's a challenging time, we can be stronger if we keep talking together, working together. And I'm, I want us to stay focused on a limited number of priorities so that we can see and make that difference. I'm proud to say that Mersey Care has a new strategy to help us steer in that right direction. And Joe, the Chief Exec, is going to talk you through some of that detail shortly. But for me, we need to make sure we've got a good long-term strategy, that it's the right one, that helps us get the basics right, helps us get the care right that we provide in very challenging circumstances. We don't operate in isolation. We're part of Cheshire Mersey. Very, very tough. But we've also got to keep pursuing exciting developments for the future to give you a voice. But not just you who are here, but to find the voices of all those people who aren't here, who aren't shouting with a megaphone at the top of a mountain. All those quiet people too. So I want to help nursing care be the best it can be. I can't do it without you. So in partnership, shall we give it a go? Thank you very much.